well as an entrepreneurialism, Bertie was always the first one to know what was going on in BCM or in the sector. I think this was perhaps a legacy of his days working in the police, and I'm convinced he must have an elaborate network of informers. <laughs> <laughs> and the projects which he established include Anderson House Supportive Housing, Keyside Eating and Aftercare, Craigmore and Marmion Children's Homes, Childhaven, Eagle Project, Grosvenor House, and of course Kirk House. And many of those projects are still established and thriving today. The biggest project we faced during my time uh, was the pulling down of the old Grosvenor Hall and building Grosvenor House. He did things to help and support staff, not just in their work, yet he rarely spoke of it. And I just found out about a few things simply because of what people had, had said to me. Bertie, you're greatly missed. Thank you for everything you did for BCM, its staff, its volunteers and its congregation and the service users we all worked with. For your compassion, your support, and for the laughter, which was equally as important and helped to create the BCM family. So as we plant this tree, we say yes to life in the face of death. Trusting that it will go on growing and blessing others long after men, many of us have gone. As long as this building's standing, well, Bertie will be well remembered. <laughs>